Welcome back guys. I have a 2009 Suzuki Boulevard C50. Um, this video will be a full color change in this uh, motorcycle. Some people have been asking me if you can paint, get a pretty good paint job with a inexpensive paint gun. You guys know that I have uh, the Sedas, the Iwatas, the Vilvis. But yes, you can. You can get a good paint job with an inexpensive gun. Um, I went ahead and bought a, a, a $50 HBLP paint gun from Home Depot uh, just to make this video. And you'll see that uh, you can get good results with uh, something like that. Right here, you can see that the bike has been stripped down. Everything that's going to be painted has been taken off. And I'll show you the process to what needs to be done. Right here, guys, I speed it, speed it up a little bit. I didn't want you guys to see the whole sanding process in real time. But uh, I'm sanding with 400, just making sure everything's uh, scuffed down, sanded, no shiny spots are visible, so that the paint will, will stick to it. Right here guys, is, I'm just doing the same thing, just uh, using the sandpaper with the hand just to make sure that everything that the DA wasn't able to get, I'll just get it, make sure everything's scuffed down, nothing's uh, shiny so that uh, you have a good adhesion. here some wax and grease remover was applied just to take all the residue from the sanding away and assures that everything is properly cleaned
is the gun. This is a Husky a Home Depot HVLP gun. It's all you need is to adjust it. I was doing it at about 29, 30 psi, two bars. Uh, this is the sealer that I'm applying so that I can get the good coverage, get all that orange color off before I start uh, laying down the new color. Just was get some even strokes all over, make sure everything's covered, make sure everything's uh, covered with the sealer. That's basically it. In order, you, all you need is one pass of sealer. You don't need two or three. Just one pass will will do the job. Right here I'm using a tack cloth just to take all the overspray that the sealer left behind just to make sure that all the surface is even with the paint that's coming up. Right here I'm applying some Uricam paint 
um, base coat clear coat I'm using it at about throwing it at about what uh, 29 30 psi also uh, full fan open with a trigger all open also this is the first coat of paint so you don't need to lay it heavy lay it uh, wet all you need to do is just uh, throw a light coat over it you'll get the other coverage with the other two or three paints uh, sprays that you're, you're coming up This is the second coat that's going on. This one a little bit uh, slower, a little bit more coverage taken out. I'm still shooting at about 29, 30 psi, two bar, and just uh, take it slow. Make sure everything covers, and uh, you get a good, uh, good coverage.
So this is the third coat of paint. I'm gonna put three coats of paint on this on this uh, project. All you need to do is just make sure everything's covered. Uh, no visible sealer is coming through, so and you'll get a good finish.
also be the first coat of clear as you can see that I'm not uh, laying it down hard it's just uh, a light coat a light mist in the first coat the other two or three coats that are coming up will be a little bit heavier I think we'll see This will be the third coat of clear. As you can see, I'm pulling a little bit more heavier. I'm going a lot slower so that the coverage is consistent to get a good uh, finish, a good shine, a good shine on the bike.
here you go guys this is the final result this is the bike assembled and everything as you can see you can get a real good uh, paint job with an uh, inexpensive paint gun you don't have to have those fancy name brand paint guns um, you can still get the same results I hope you liked the video I hope you learned something with about it and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, take care guys